Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. And in this video, you have me doing my stretches. Pretty much no nonsense. So uh, after my lifting sessions, especially when they are fairly heavy and long, and especially when my SI joint pain is playing up, I resort to a full-blown stretching session. Otherwise, they are very small. And uh, I just thought it is good to make a video on the importance of these stretches. They are mostly yoga slash passive stretching, which is recommended mostly conventionally after any exercise. So I'm holding my poses, stretching, holding for 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. And uh, some of them are... Most of them are specifically to do with my hip pain or my SI joint pain. So mostly for my lower body. After this particular session, um, no, the one before, 140 kg, the pain was really bad. And uh, I do know that stretching alone will not fix the pain, but it definitely relieves me from the pain temporarily. So over the last at least six months or so, I have come across a few yoga poses, some stretching pose, some stretching, which helps me actually really relieve the temporary, temporarily the pain that I have in SI joint. I have definitely learned and come to appreciate a lot more of yoga and stretching. And I must say that uh, once again, pain was the teacher. So i uh, been getting this pain for a while now and uh, I could not think of anything better than stretching and foam rolling. Foam rolling is very beneficial but once again it is temporary. Uh, that is me doing my neck thing. I don't recommend anyone to do this. I do get a little bit of neck stiffness and doing this Loading my neck that way really makes it disappear. But once again, I must say temporarily. And that is all what we can do. I do believe pain is temporary. And pain relief also is temporary. This pose uh, particularly is very, very good for my lower back slash SI joint. There is a Hindu style push-up called Hanuman Dand, Hanuman push-up. I am not doing it here because I'm not trying to move. When I do that Hanuman Dand Hanuman push up, it really makes it disappear. And I must say that when I had my uh, attempt of doing, Olymp uh, I should say, learning Olympic weightlifting, my, uh, which uh, lasted only for three to four months, my coach had me do lots of these stretching slash mobility drills. Uh, as much as I don't believe in mobility drills, I do enjoy actually doing stretching and that was one phase where I actually not just intellectually but physically psychologically realized the benefits of stretching especially post lifting right after my session when I would be sore and stiff in some parts so I have come across to make my own routine and uh, I suppose everyone would be able to do it for themselves, what really works for them. Mine is twisting methods like these and uh, isolating by holding it for a few minutes. For a second. So, yes, I, I also do foam rolling, which obviously there's no point making videos of. And really hard. They, they really, I really go deep into my tissues where it is hurting. And hold it for as long as I can. I do it for a very short period of time. But yes, if I had uh, this one is also a very good one for my SI joint and my lower back. And around the time when I was learning the weightlifting, I was lifting not heavy at all. I was lifting light stuff. And I must say that one of the reasons why I was not much in pain during that time was because everything was light. <laughs> And I was having to do a lot of stretching. My coach had me do a lot of stretches. So 
it was a very good three month period where I was not so stiff and not so much in pain. But back again, when I'm now into my back squats and deadlifts, especially deadlifts, the hinge position is what actually causes me stiffness first and then it is uh, uh, pain afterwards. In some sessions, the pain is a lot and in some it isn't. It is obviously a lot more in anything um, uh, which is to do with deadlifts. And uh, I don't want my deadlifts to go any more shitty than what they are right now. Squats are almost unaffected. I will make sure that they are. So this stretch is really particularly good. I really love doing this. The kind of stretch I get in the lower back, if I push my chest up, it's even better. So um, I think overall what I've learned is that a good stretching routine done on consistently based, consistent basis will fetch me results on long term and will keep me uh, relatively pain free. Although I don't have a hope that it will make my pain go away permanently. It's not going to happen. But it is all about managing the pain on day to day, session to session basis. I love this one too. It is really good for my lower back once again. It has nothing to do with me being trying to be flexible. The more harder I do my stretches, the lesser I have the feeling and sensation of pain in my lower back. That's that's just simple as that. I would otherwise would not want to do these things. Uh, I do like stretches, but not to this extent of holding my body and putting my leg up so high. Uh, although I must say, uh, there is a pleasure, uh, there is a bit of a fun part when it is all finished. There is a bit of endorphin rush. I also do them in a slightly different different manner uh, at home before going to bed um, in almost partial darkness. I do just roll on the floor, do some foam rolling and do almost a kind of whatever type of stretching. So that is something which I don't do a lot, but it is very calming when I do it without any light, without any uh, distractions around and straight after it, I go to sleep. So it works really well. But uh, all what you see here, me doing these silly things is just stretching my lower back so much that the pain sens sensation will go away. And it, it really does go away. It really does. Uh, especially doing this splits also really help me. As I push my chest up, sometimes as you'll see me, I'll be going forward with my upper body, which is sort of a cheating. But when I erect my upper body up, it feels really good. I am not recommending this to anyone. Uh, you have to find your own ways of managing pain, stiffness and regular niggles. I just thought I'll share this with you guys. And if you like this video, if it is interesting, if it's useful, then please like, subscribe and comment. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you, guys.